Cloth Weaver has a built-in shader. Whenever you create a base plane or clothing template, you will automatically obtain the shader. We will start by creating some seams. Use the loop select to highlight a connected row of vertices. Hit the spacebar and choose Mark Seams. We need to pay attention to our UV maps area in the data panel. Base planes and templates will automatically have these groups. For each of our groups, select and choose Reset UVs. Go back up to Pattern. Now you can see everything has been unwrapped switch over to our material view. It's doing vertical lines and we want to do horizontal. So select all these with the A key. We're going to rotate. And when you're doing your UV mapping, you want to have your character or your clothing in a neutral pose. We can move on to the bump. We're going to do the same. The bump. Select each one of these. They all have their different mapping. Let's zoom in on the bump so we can see that texture. Let's increase the scale to add finer details to the bump. Grunge adds variance and character to the clothing, or you could perceive it as dirt. <laughs> Either way, no clothing is perfectly one shade. Turning the grunge up to a white will remove it, and all the way down will add it. The pattern will switch between two colors. Unlinking the pattern node will only use color A. Now, of course, if you have an image texture with a print, you can easily put the color of that node into color A and then leave the pattern blank. The bump affects how deep the texture is. All these textures can be swapped out for your own images. Polyester Mix switches between a cotton and polyester appearance. Turning this up will create a smooth silk material. Fresnel Gloss affects how much light wraps around the clothing. Typically, this value should never be higher than 0.1. Glossy Rough changes how shiny or rough the light is. Turning this down will increase the shine, giving a wet or leather appearance. Translucency generally remains below 0.1 as well, and affects how much light will pass through the object. And that is how you use the Cloth Weaver shaders.